Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Hello. Hi, Hello, Ruth. teacher. Hi, how Hi. are you? It's fine. You're fine. Excellent. How is your day going? ¿Cómo va su día, chicos? How is your day going? Good, a busy day, a bad day. How is your day? Good. Good, excellent. It's a good day. It's a good day. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to have free on Friday or do you need to go to work on Friday? Um, Hi, good afternoon, teacher. Hello, good afternoon. ¿Van a trabajar el Friday or not? No. Just that. No. Those are good news. Father. Father's Day, excellent. Mm -hmm. And do I have fathers here in the group? Tengo papás aquí en el grupo. Do I have fathers? Dad? Uh, Jorge. Yes. Jorge. Yes, you are. How many kids do you have? I am father. Three Where kids. Three kids, oh, that's really nice. <laughs> You have three Two kids. daughters and one boy. And one boy. Wow, excellent. Two daughters and one guy. Excellent. So you're going to be celebrating on Friday with your family. That's great. Vamos a ver. This is class number. ¿Qué clase damos ya? Class number. 11, imagine, ¿qué significa que next week we are going to finish with the pre-intermediate one course? Ya casi, se ha ido muy rápido el tiempo. Now I can see Janina, hello Janina. ¿Cómo estamos Janina? How are you? Hi teacher, fine, and you? I'm fine, I'm pretty good, you know, I'm pretty good. Here we go. Qué bueno, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo diríamos que ¿Cómo respondemos a eso? Ah, qué bueno. Podemos ah, decir, eso. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that. Qué bueno escuchar eso. I'm glad mm. to hear that. I'm glad. I'm glad. Glad oh. es G-L-A-D. Uh -huh. O puede decir, it's good to hear that. Es ah, bueno escuchar it's eso. It's good to hear that. Vaya. What were we practicing yesterday? ¿Qué practicamos ayer? I told you that we were going to introduce the topic yesterday and we were going to conclude with the same topic today. ¿Cuál fue nuestro tema de ayer? ¿Qué hablábamos? ¿De qué les preguntaba? A question about uh, do, does, double age question and also Affirmative and negative. Um, Very good job. For example, I was asking you questions about um, what are your preferences in music and also in TV shows. That was like the example from the class. Yes. And also we were making questions with do for personal information. Do you like? And then you were giving me short responses. And not only short responses, we were adding an extra comment. For example, do you like pop music? Yes, I do. I love it. We were practicing short answers, but at the same time giving like an extra comment. For today, we have like a very short exercise because we need to conclude using the simple present tense interrogative form but with the third person, con la tercera persona, because yesterday we didn't practice with the third person and it's very necessary for you to practice. Why? Because most of the rules that we need to follow with the simple present are used with the third person, he, she, or it, okay? So that's why, let's go and finish with this topic, look. Here I have some examples, five different interrogative statements. And we are going to make this type of questions. And at the end, we are going to make a short 
answer. And we are going to add an extra comment as well. Vamos a agregarles un comentario extra también. Not only short answers, but we can add an extra comment to the reply. And I have five different examples here. First, step number one. Let's identify, please. Identify who is the subject. Identifiquemos al sujeto. Who is the subject in the first example? She. She. So, uh -huh. she. she or uh -huh. so. so. Example yes. number two. Who is the subject in number two? Team or he. Very good. Team or he. Uh, Ruth. In the example number three, who is the subject? ¿Quién es el sujeto in number three? He. He. Gabriela, in number four, can you identify the subject, please? Jimmy. Jimmy is the subject. Jorge, how about in number five? Who is the subject? She. She. If you see, we only have, in this case, examples using the third person, tercera persona. ¿Cuál es nuestra tercera persona then? What is the third person? If we talk um, about pronouns, remember that we have he, she, and it. it. Very good job. And mm -hmm. we can also replace he, she, and it. Uh, if we want to mention uh, the girls or the boys' name, boys' names, I'm sorry. Si queremos usar el nombre de las personas, that's okay. Or we can also use this pronoun, he, she, or it. Great. Primer paso, identificar el sujeto. Solo tenemos third person. Whenever we are going to make questions with the third person, what do we need to have? And auxiliary verb. Look. And for the simple present tense, we are going to have the auxiliary does for the third person. That's it. El auxiliar does. Tanto para mi pregunta y también para mi respuesta afirmativa. Y si es negativa, what do I need to have? Does plus not. Okay? That's it. How do we make the questions then? Number one is already done for you. Does Zoe speak English? And we have yes. the beginning of the, the response. Yes, so what is the compl compliment? She does. Yes, she? Does. Muy bien. Reemplazamos el sujeto Zoe for a pronoun she, and then we have the auxiliary. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. But I need to add an extra comment. Quiero agregarle un comentario extra. Does Zoe speak English? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Agregamosle un comentario extra. Yes, she, she does. She speak English she... in Very English good. corporativo. She is Miren, she speaks English. Uh, hagámoslo más corto. Well. She speaks English well. Okay. Well, or fluent. Or fluent. I like fluent. Fluido. Fluently. Well or fluently. Very good job. Para que no nos acostumbremos solo a dar respuestas cortas, sino a complementar siempre nuestras ideas. Yes, she does. She speaks English fluently. She speaks English well. Okay. Second example. Second example. I have, does Tim work in a bank? Does Tim work in a bank? Do you want to try... Um, let me see, I can, 
Edenilson, veamos cómo responderíamos. Does Tim work in a bank? And we have the beginning of the response. No, dice que no, no. Does Tim work in a bank? Sería no. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ed Nielsen, I guess he didn't. Oh. Yeah, don't okay. worry, don't worry. Sorry. Don't worry, go ahead please. What is Try. the question? Tenemos el segundo ejemplo. Does team work does in a team bank? Does work in the bank? No. No, he does. He doesn't work in a bank. No, he does or no, he doesn't. No. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Muy bien, porque estamos negando. No, he doesn't. Or no, he does not. Yes. No, he doesn't. Agregémosle un complemento. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es nuestro complemento? O un comentario extra. No, he doesn't. Any idea? Anybody from the class? Cualquiera de la clase he works puede... in a bank. He works in he works. a hotel, for okay. example. He works. Look, he works in a hotel. I like it. We are giving an extra comment or extra information about Tim. Does Tim work in a bank? No, he doesn't. He works in a hotel. Very good job. Let me try with um, Ruth. Veamos, Ruth, ¿cómo hacemos la número tres? ¿Qué nos hace falta in number three? Mm, yes. Mm. Tenemos solo he likes mm. swimming. ¿Qué hace falta para convertirla en pregunta? What do we need to make the question? The, he, he, does, mm -hmm. does he very good does no, does does like solo does y luego ya tenemos el sujeto does he like does swimming he like swimming muy bien y ahí está la pregunta does he like swimming cómo respondemos Ruth dice yes does he like swimming yes ¿Cuál sería nuestra respuesta corta? Does he like swimming? Ok, Yanira, let's see with you. Let's try with you. Does yes. he like swimming? Yes, he does like swimming. Yes, or he does. He like, uh -huh, or uh -huh. he like... Um, uh -huh. He like listen to music mm. he he like o sea yes he does he uh -huh. eh, yes he does like swimming pero ahí sería como repetir otra vez nuestra información tal vez como un comentario extra ah, siempre he, de acuerdo a que le gusta nadar yes he, he does he, ah, he like um, ay no sé no sé qué va a ponerle por ejemplo ¿me? Mm. Ah, he loves it. He, he likes swimming. Le gusta he like it. He does. He, like he it. loves it or he likes it a lot. Podría ser también. He likes it a lot. Siempre tiene okay. que ver con nuestra idea principal. Very good job. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Let me try with um, who else? Jorge, do you want to try with number four? Question and then the short answer. Please. Does Jimmy read our books? Very good. Does, at the beginning, now we have the question. Does Jimmy read our books? Yes. 
Yes, mm -hmm. he does. Yes, he does. Okay, now give me an extra comment about this, this question. ¿Qué comentario he read, le yes. he read our books always, okay. todo el tiempo, o siempre, o... Oh. He always read horror books. Y ahí complementamos nuestra idea. He always reads horror books. Number five. Number five. Let me see who I have here. Gustavo. Make the question for number five, please. Gustavo. Hello. Hello. Does Exercise number five. Excellent. Does she have a new salt? Does she have a new cell phone? No. Finish the idea, please. No. No, she doesn't. Very good. No, she doesn't. Agregamos un comentario extra de que no tiene un new cell phone. She... She going a repair. She she's going to she's going to repair. Repair like this one. Repair. Okay. Se va a reparar this. Hard to fix it. Ya me molesta. Fix it. She's going to fix it. Very good job. Does she have a new cell phone? No, she doesn't. She is going to fix it. Or she needs to fix it. O podemos decir, she needs to get a new one. Necesita comprar uno nuevo. Very good job. Number one, does Zoe speak English? Yes, she does. She speaks English fluently. Does Tim work in a bank? No, she doesn't. He works in a hotel. Does he like swimming? Yes, he does. He loves it. Does Jimmy read horror books? Yes, he does. He always reads horror books. Does yeah. she have a new cell phone? No, she doesn't. She's going to fix it. How do we make questions? Del ejercicio que hemos hecho. ¿Cómo hago una pregunta y cómo la respondo? Let me see. What do I need to have? Necesito tener. Teacher. Yes. Please tell me. En la en la en la cuatro de Does Jim read horror books? Podría haber dicho Yes, he does. He always read reads them. No. Porque sí. son son libros, verdad? Es plural. Uh -huh. Podemos sustituir. Este nombre por un, sería pronombre, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tipo de pronombre sería? Son los que vamos a utilizar en el mismo ejercicio de ahora. Them, them. Okay. Por ejemplo, acá en el ejemplo anterior, en number three, sustituimos el verbo swimming por it. Uh -huh. He loves, en vez de decir he loves swimming y repetir otra vez, decimos he loves it. He always reads them. In number five, lo mismo, hicimos lo mismo en el número cinco. Cuando decimos it, se refiere a al cell phone. So yes, we can also do it. Questions about this exercise. Vamos a hacer uno bien similar ahorita. So let me ask you, do you have questions? ¿Cómo hago preguntas sobre alguien más, una tercera persona? ¿Y cómo doy respuesta in affirmative and negative? Is it clear or do you have comments or questions about this exercise? Let me listen to you, please.
Just one, please, solo uno. Is it clear? Is not? Si no voy a pensar que estamos claros con el tema, ¿sí? Ok, let me give you just one minute. Se están copiando la información, les doy un minuto porque al dejar de compartir se borra todo. Just one minute so you can copy the examples, the exercises, because you're going to do a very similar exercise right now. Este ejercicio solo fue con terceras personas. Solo tercera persona. Ayer nos enfocamos en dar información personal, ¿ok? Do you like pop music? Do you like soap operas? Do you, you? Para que aprendamos a utilizar el auxiliar do. Y expresamos afirmativos, negativos. En now nos enfocamos más que todo en third person, tercera persona. That's it. When we talk about a third person. ¿Ok? Here we go. Ok, I'm going to stop sharing. Voy a hacer preguntas y ustedes responden sobre alguien más. Ok, no, no es respuesta o información personal. This is not personal information. It's information about your classmates, your coworkers. Ok. Let's start with the first question. Does Glenda enjoy running? Does she enjoy running? She does. Mm. ¿Será que le hace falta algo a esa respuesta? Perdón, she does. Yeah. They do. They do. No, okay. wait, yes. Wait, wait, wait. No, yes, they do. Yes, yes. yes, they do. Otra vez. Does Glenda ah. enjoy running or does she enjoy running? Mm. Yes, Linda she enjoy, does. Pero ahí son dos. She Why two? lowered yes, the running. Okay. Why, why two, Jani? ¿Por qué dos? Does Glenda enjoy running? Esa fue mi pregunta. <laughs> she. Uh -huh. Yes, she does. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yo, how many Glendas do I have? Es que el yo y se lo tomé como un nombre, no he entendido. Ah, ok. Si decimos solo she does, creo que mi respuesta estaría incompleta en el sentido gramatical, ok? So let's yes. do it in the right way. Yes, she does. And what is your extra comment? Comentario extra. Yes, she does. Uh -huh. She loves she loves running always. Uh, she loves running. Oh. Pero si decimos always, eh, hasta en el trabajo andaría corriendo, no, es que no always, not all the time. She loves running. Oh, así Pero está siempre. bien. Pero ¿eh? uh -huh. siempre. Uh -huh. Or she loves going to a competition. She loves. Eh, She loves it, podemos decir. Ah, lo ama. She loves it. You see? Vaya, así vamos a ir. Number two. Let me see. Let me ask you about Gabriela. Class, eh, does Gabby enjoy dancing? Does she enjoy dancing? Yes or no? Does Gabriela enjoy dancing? What do you think? Rita, Nunca what do you know bailar. about that? So, let's say, Gabby, do you enjoy dancing? Yes or no? No. Sí o no? Okay, no, she yes. doesn't. No, she have, doesn't. No, she doesn't. Agreguemos un comentario. Ese es muy buen comentario, Jorge. Nunca le he visto bailar, but let's do it in English. ¿Cómo sería? <laughs> ¿Cómo sería? Huh? Use your English. How do we do it? She, sería, no, she doesn't. She enjoy uh, sing. 
Sing, cantar. Oh, she enjoys singing. Singing. No, singing. Singing. Really? Do you enjoy singing? Or I have never seen her dancing before. Nunca le hizo I learn. never see. I've never seen her dancing. Very good. Sing. Teacher, uh, uh, Gabby, can, can you sing? Really? Is she a good singer? <laughs> Is Gabby? she a good singer? Yeah. Gabby, tell us about yes. that. <laughs> she loved Gabby. singing. Okay, but so, I, yes. I but... don't like dancing. Uh, <laughs> I can't. You can't. So <laughs> let me reformulate the question. Does Gabby enjoy singing? Does she enjoy singing? Yes. Let's respond with yes. Let's make the response with yes. Yes, she does. She loves it. Lo ama. She loves it. Okay. Let me see. From this class, who really likes drinking coffee? ¿Quién han visto de sus compañeros de trabajo drinking coffee a lot? Eve Milson. Really? Eve. Eve. Glenda. Glenda. Glenda too. Glenda as well. So let Lorena me ask you. También. Really, Lorena. <laughs> so I have three coffee lovers in this class. Does Eden Nilsson love drinking coffee? Yes. That's true. Okay. Yes. So does Eden Nilsson love drinking coffee? Lorena, what is your response? Hagamos afirmativo. Él dijo yes. Yes, um, he, yes. Ser, he does. Yes, he does. Y agregamos yes, un comentario extra. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy, como que disfruta su café. Enjoy uh -huh. the coffee. He enjoy uh, his coffee. Por la mañana, sería tomorrow. Uh, al mediodía. In the <laughs> morning. <laughs> In, in the morning, uh -huh. al mediodía, at bueno, noon, yes. or at okay. any time, really? Okay. How many cups of coffee do you drink a day, Eden Nilsson? How many cups? Four. Four. Four to seven. Four to seven, really? Okay, interesting. Hey, Johnny, is that Eden Nilsson? Say hi to Elenilson. <laughs> no? Yes, right? <laughs> He's the one who's standing there. Let me ask you who enjoys or who loves, a quien le gusta, que más? Uh, to exercise a lot, ejercitarse todos los días, to exercise a lot. Nobody? To exercise a lot. Glenda, teacher. Glenda, okay. Glenda in the Nielsen. She is the fitness girl in this group. So let me ask you again. Otra vez sobre Glenda. Does Glenda enjoy exercising every day? In the Nielsen too. In the Nielsen too. Okay, they love drinking coffee and they also love exercising as well. Okay, great, great job. So Correct. let me ask you, mm -hmm. that's very interesting. So what do you like to do? Les, les pregunto a los demás, ¿qué les gusta hacer? What Eden Nilsson like también come bastante. Really? <laughs> He eats a Eden. lot. Yes, yes. Really? <laughs> okay. ¿Qué puedo decirle de los demás? ¿Qué les gusta hacer para que podamos hacer preguntas? What do you enjoy doing? ¿Qué les gusta hacer? No, I got it. I know. Like to beer. Ok. <risa> eh, oigan, oigan. Eh. <risa> ok. To go to party every Friday, right? What do you enjoy doing? So let me, let me do something para que podamos hacer el ejercicio y no estemos dudando de la information. Escríbanme ahorita en el chat. ¿Qué es lo que les gusta hacer? They enjoy drink Coca-Cola. Drinking Coca-Cola. Muy bien. All of them. All of your coworkers. 
Wow, interesting. What do you like to do? Escriban en el chat ahorita qué le gusta hacer y qué no le gusta hacer para que tengamos referencia de las preguntas. For example, I like drinking soda. Como dijeron ahí, I like drinking soda or to drink soda. Vamos, empiecen a comentar. ¿Qué le gusta? Excellent. Watching Netflix TV. Serious. Drinking. Okay, what else? Keep on writing. I only have Glenda and Eden Nilsson. I'm still missing Lore, Rita, Josue, Gustavo. What do you like and what you don't like to do? Very good. You don't like reading books. I like drinking lemonade. I like drinking beer. Excellent. Just one extra minute, minuto extra. I don't like pacayas, I don't. <laughs> really, teacher? <laughs> I do not, I have never tried them before. I like healthy food, I don't like horror Try movies. It. Me gusta ver series, I like to watch series i like dancing and watch movies okay interesting interesting i like to listen to heavy metal music okay yeah heavy metal music Eso explica muchas cosas. you know i have a co-worker in my case let me tell you about my experience tengo un compañero que le encanta heavy metal music cada vez que ustedes entren a su oficina you know, I don't know, but you feel eh, that he is really enjoying that type of music. Está tan metido en su música y disfrutando que uno entra como con miedito de interrumpirlo porque se enoja si uno lo interrumpe. Yo, come on. His name is Dagoberto, you know. So es he, la mejor really música. he really loves to listen to heavy metal music, you know. And it's kind of funny. Hmm. But you know, Es bien contradictorio porque también eh, disfruta eh, romantic music. So, uno nunca sabe cuando va a estar escuchando qué tipo de música en su oficina. So, it's quite interesting. I love Italian pizza. Very good. Now we have a lot of information. Tenemos mucha información de sus compañeros. Let's ask. No vamos a preguntar personal information, sino sobre alguien más. Alguien más. Take a look at Samuel. Come on, Samuel. He's revealing some information. Revelando información sensible. <laughs> Extra information. So, class, let's start right now. Les pregunto y ustedes me responden con sí o no sobre alguien más. It says, Eden Nielsen says, I like uh, to watch Netflix series. Does Eden Nilsson like to watch Netflix series? Janina. ¿Cómo respondemos a eso? Does Eden Nilsson like to watch Netflix series? Ay, teacher, no le estaba poniendo atención. Lo siento. Don't worry, don't worry. Gaby, go ahead, please. Uh, yes, he does. Uh, he likes um, watch Netflix series. Very good. 
And Glenda dice, I like drinking beer. I like drinking beer. Jorge, does Glenda like drinking beer? Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. She she loves drinking beer. <laughs> okay, very good. Gabriela, she says, I like drinking lemonade. Me gusta tomar limonada. Le pregunto a Lore. Does Gabriela like drinking beer? Does Gabriela like drinking beer? Not. Uh, right. Not. She like. Um, ¿Qué le gusta tomar? Vamos a ver. Lemon. 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 No sé cómo se pronuncia. Lemonade. Lemonade. Ah, lemonade. So repeat, please. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Uh, she like drinking. A drinking lemonade. Muy bien. She likes. Recordemos que con la tercera likes. persona afirmativo, likes. Carlos, he says, I like uh, visiting other countries in the world and I don't like reading books. Glenda. Does Carlos like visiting other countries? Yes or no? Ye yes, he does. Uh -huh. Agreguemos el comentario extra. Yes, he does. Carlos loves visit other countries. Okay. Carlos loves visiting other countries. Same comment. I don't like reading books. Carlos dice, I don't like reading books. Josué, does Carlos like reading books? Does Carlos like reading books? Yes or no? I guess he's not there. He is not paying attention. Carlos, let me ask you about Gustavo. Gustavo says, I like watching movies online. Does he like watching movies online? Yes, he does. Uh, he likes movies. Uh -huh. He likes? He likes, uh, no, yes, he does. Uh, he loves it. Okay, it, he loves it. El, lo he amas, loves. he loves it. But especially uh, when he's at home, right? Not at work. Or do you watch series online whenever you are at work, Gustavo, or not? Especialmente cuando no está en el trabajo, ¿verdad? I like watching movies online, dice. Not at work, but at home. Great. Janina, she likes dancing. Wow, this is interesting. Rita, does Janina like dancing? Does Janina like dancing? Yes. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. Um, um she like um love it she loves it i okay i i see really <laughs> and you, you went, have seen uh -huh, her dancing and the the party <laughs> really so she, yes. she enjoys dancing i remember dancing with uh, Eddie nielson mm -hmm. and last party in the last party, really? Wow. <laughs> it would be interesting to join you in one of your parties, you know? Samuel, veamos, but Samuel, información de Samuel no tengo. Samuel, ¿qué le gustará hacer o no a Samuel? Let me see. Me gusta la cerveza. Okay. Is that true, Samuel? No. No, right? So does Samuel like beer? 
or like drinking beer? Say no, please. No, he? No, he doesn't. He doesn't enjoy it. Okay, no, he doesn't. Great. ¿Qué tenemos que tener en memoria o en mente cuando vamos a hacer preguntas sobre alguien más? Número uno. The auxiliary does. Number two. Podemos utilizar, en este caso, el nombre de la persona o sustituirlo por un pronoun. Por ejemplo, she. Number three, you never are going to add an S to the verb, or the verb is not going to change. El verbo no va a cambiar porque ya tengo un auxiliary. Okay, number four. Necesito dar respuesta completa. Not only yes, not only no, but I need to say yes, he does, or yes, he, yes, she does. No, he doesn't. Or no, she doesn't. And I can also add some extra information if I want to complement the sentence. Tenemos claro cómo hacemos preguntas or interrogative statements in English? Sí? ¿Cómo hacemos preguntas? ¿Está claro? ¿Is it clear? Auxiliar más sujeto. Auxiliar, más sujeto más verbo. verbo más complemento. Más complemento, yes. Bien. En the last part, la última parte de este ejercicio se refiere a this type of exercises. Well, it's not this one. Si se fijaron, también utilizamos, we were using this type of pronoun, these are the ones. Le llamamos object pronouns, object pronouns, que pueden reemplazar en este caso al sujeto, object pronouns. And these are very good examples. If you see in these sentences, we have or we can easily use the object pronouns. Lo reemplazamos para sustituir a nuestro sujeto. Pero ¿en dónde se posiciona el object pronoun? Look at the first example. We don't listen to hip hop because we really don't like it. ¿Cuál es mi sujeto en esta oración? Es hip hop. Pero para no volver a mencionar hip hop, Al final o repetir, sonar redundante, que utilizo un object it. pronoun. In this case, it. Look. Hip hop. It. I don't like it. Number two. We love your voice. Please sing for. Canta para nosotros. Me, you, him, her, it, us, or them. Us. 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 Please sing for us. Very good job. Canta para nosotros. Sing for us. Si se fijan, en este caso estamos ocupando us para referirnos a el grupo de personas. Para nosotros. Canta para nosotros. Because in this case, we need to have the object pronoun at the end. Miren al final, ¿qué nos hace falta en la number three? To complete the question. These sunglasses are great. ¿De quién estoy hablando? De los lentes. Para no repetir lentes, ¿qué necesito usar? It. O voy a utilizar them. 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 Why them? them? Because it's plural. Very good job. These sunglasses are great. Do you like them? Y así me evito decir, do you like the sunglasses? No. ¿Te gustan ellos? 
Number four. Who is that man? ¿Quién es el sujeto en la número cuatro? Men. Men. ¿Quién es ese hombre? Who is that Do man? Do you know? Do you him. know? Do you know him? him? ¿Lo conoces? Do you know him? A él. In number five. Beth looks great in green. It's a really good color for... She. Miren, ella es mi sujeto. Beth, ella. But in this case, I need to use an object pronoun. ¿Cuál sería? Him or her? Her. 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 Para ella, it's a really good color for hair. For hair. Creo que en la única que no podemos aplicar esta regla que identifico el sujeto y de acuerdo a eso es el object pronoun is in number two. Porque en la número dos nos está dando como otra idea. Dice, we love your voice. Amamos tu voz. Pero si se fijan, ya nos sigue hablando de la misma idea, sino complementando la idea. Por favor, canta para nosotros. No sigue como haciendo el mismo comentario sobre la voz. Sin embargo, si dijera, la amamos, amamos tu voz. We love your voice. We love it. Ahí sí sería it. Pero como en número dos, cambia como la idea. Por eso utilizamos un object pronoun que es diferente a nuestro sujeto. But in number one, three, four, and five, they are making a complement of the same idea. Okay? Dos oraciones son complemento de la misma idea. Is it clear? Está claro cuando usamos object pronouns? Yes? No? Yes. Se ocupa siempre at the end of the sentence. At the end of the sentence. Y nos sirve para complementar o reemplazar a mi sujeto. And look at this one. Tengo estos tips or these advices that we are going to follow. ¿Cómo sé cuándo lo voy a usar? ¿Cuáles son las reglas a seguir? These are the rules. Look at this one. It's... Where is it? Okay, I'm going to send this information so you can easily read about the rules. Aquí estamos, look. Remember, number one, you need to use do plus the base form for yes, no questions and short answers with I, you, we, and they. Esto se refiere a preguntas, solo interrogative sentences. Utilizo do, ¿con qué sujetos? Con I, you, we, and they. ¿Está claro? Yes. I need to use does, ¿con qué sujetos? She, she, she and it. Bien, acuérdense que hablamos de preguntas. Then we have, you need to use don't and doesn't plus the base form for negative statements. ¿Qué si quiero responder usando negativos? Utilizo don't for I, you, we, and they and does not or doesn't for he, she, and it. Algo más que recordar, do not add S to the base form. Cuando estoy haciendo preguntas, no agrego S a el verbo porque ya tengo un auxilio ahí. Y la parte importante o última, subject pronouns, they usually, no dice que siempre, usually, they come before a verb. Esos son los subject pronouns. O mis oraciones afirmativas con el simple present tense. But on the other hand, los subjects, los object pronouns, 
they usually come after a verb. Subject pronouns on I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Pero los object pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, as, and them, ellos vienen siempre o usualmente después de el verbo. Por eso le llamamos object pronouns. Porque me ayudan a reemplazar a mi subject pronouns. Okay? So, these are the rules that you need to keep in mind. Les envío esta información ahorita. Here we go. Preguntas, comentarios sobre los object pronouns. ¿Para qué nos sirven los object pronouns? ¿Para reemplazar a quién? O sustituir, mejor dicho, sustituir. ¿A quién sustituyen? Al sujeto. Al sujeto. Y... ¿Qué necesito hacer cuando hago preguntas con el object o, bueno, oras, u oraciones con el subject pronoun? ¿En dónde agrego el subject pronoun o en qué parte de la oración va? At the beginning, at the end, after the verb, or where is at it? The at the end. At the end, right? At the end of the sentence. Very good job. En la plataforma tenemos un ejercicio de eso. ¿Qué ejercicio es? No sé si ya complementaron section number four. ¿Y qué ejercicio se refiere a los object pronouns? Let me see. Because we have an exercise and I need you to go and complete this exercise. Vamos a complementarlo juntos por si hay preguntas about this topic. Let me see. I guess it's the last one. Let me see. Now let's check. No, creo que está en la sección número 4 o 5. I don't know. Let me check. Veamos. Vámonos a la plataforma. This is going to be the last exercise for today. En la 4.4. Cuatro, sí, creo que estaba, o oh, era el final de la tres o la cuatro, ¿verdad? I guess it was number four. But I was checking this one. 4.4. Porque solo nos queda un tema más para mañana, que es el uso de un auxiliar también. Auxiliary would. So it's not in section three. Let me go to section number four. Vamos a ver, 4.4, ¿verdad? I guess this is the one that I'm looking for. Yes. Vaya, bueno, miren, aquí dice, complementemos utilizando do, does, o doesn't. Don't or doesn't for object or object pronouns. Si se fijan en la número uno. Tenemos que crear una pregunta y luego en nuestra respuesta incluir un object pronoun. Number one. ¿Cómo iría nuestra pregunta? Does or do? Do. Look. Very good. Do you like science fiction movies? Nuestro sujeto es science fiction movies. Es en plural. ¿Qué sujeto necesito utilizar? Dos. Don't. 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 No. Don't. I. Don't. Bien. Y luego dice, hablando de science fiction movies, I don't like, sería it, it. o sería them. It. ¿Por qué it, clase? Es them, ah, because it's plural. Fiction movies. Ah, plural. Okay. Ah, porque estoy hablando en plural. Miren. Science fiction movies. Plural. Entonces no puedo decir it. Tiene que ser. Them. Muy bien. No me gustan. I don't like them. Ok. 
Siguiente mm. conversación. Now I have a question. Tengo Jake and Lisa. Plural. Yes. Jake and Lisa. Two people. Do, do. Do Jake and Lisa like soup. Okay. Y luego me dice en específico. Jake. But I don't know about Lisa. A Jake si le gusta. Pero no sé sobre Lisa. Jake. Doesn't. Does. Sería does or doesn't? Doesn't. ¿Por qué doesn't? Ah, uh, it is da, does. Pero que es otra persona. Pero ¿por qué no es en afirmativo y por qué es en negativo? Porque eso él no pregunta. sabe de Lisa. O sea, como que no están seguro. Pero dice, a Jake y a Lisa le gustan las novelas. Yeah, Jake doesn't, but I don't know about Lisa. Wow, dejemos doesn't, a ver qué pasa. Jake doesn't. Why don't you ask? ¿Por qué no le preguntas a ella? Why don't you ask? Uh -huh. Ask her. Her, ¿por qué no le preguntas? Why, Why do don't you, you ask, ask her? her? Bien. Seven. We have another question. Music. What kind of music Noriko and Ethan like? Tengo dos personas. Ocupo do or does? Them. Do. Do. What kind of music do Noriko and Ethan like? Muy bien. Number eight. Es el complemento de mi pregunta anterior. What he play? What does? Ah, uh, does porque es tercera persona. Vamos a ver. What does, does. he play? What does he play? And then we have, I have his new CD. He let's listen to. Eat. Eat. ¿Por qué eat? Está hablando del CD. Está hablando del CD. Eat, talk. Okay, mm -hmm. after uh, let's listen to Andrea Bocelli. I love he is the best. Love it. I love him. I love him. Yeah. He is the best. the best. I love him. Let me see. Veamos cómo nos va. There we go. That's it. Aquí es donde todo se complementa. Las preguntas y también en respuestas utilizando the object pronoun. Se complementan. Solo tienen que eh, tener cuidado de identificar el sujeto. Y de acuerdo a eso, así preguntamos y así respondemos. ¿Ok? I guess this is the only exercise, right? Let me check. Who's my date? Sí, esto ya es listening exercise. Bien, questions about this one. Preguntas o de los ejercicios anteriores. Questions? Because for tomorrow, this is the only one. Ese nos queda para mañana, ¿ok? The use of would and the verb to be. O preguntas de este ejercicio que acabamos de hacer. ¿Cómo se sienten con el uso de los object pronouns para sustituir un pronombre o un subject pronoun? Good. Es un poquito. Un poquito. Uh -huh. Confuso identificar el. Identificar el. El qué? pronombre. El pronombre. O sea, para ver el contexto. O sea, de ir a ver el contexto para poder saber el uso del. Exacto. Es más que todo identificar el sujeto. Si me está hablando de dos personas, ah, sé que es ellos, they. Entonces ya sé cuál específico utilizar. Si me está hablando de ella, ya sé que eh, object pronoun and I'm going to use. Creo que depende de eso. Identificar el sujeto, esa es la base para saber responder. De acuerdo a mi sujeto, así va a ser mi auxiliar para preguntar y así va a ser mi object pronoun to give my response. Eso creo que les puede servir muchísimo. Any other comment or questions about this topic? Because tomorrow we are going to have the last one from section number four. 
Yes, or do not forget to practice. Just keep on practicing. La práctica es lo que más nos ayuda. In case that you need help with vocabulary or with some exercises from the platform, please let me know. Para que mañana al complementar o al finalizar la clase quede ya completa la section number four. Esa es nuestra meta para mañana. Okay? Section number four done before or at the end of tomorrow's class. Okay? Bien clase. We are going to stop the class here. Cualquier pregunta, estamos ahí pendientes. Okay? Thank See you, you tomorrow. Me. Have a great afternoon. Okay? See you. See you. Thank bye you, bye teacher. Class. See you, teacher. Bye. Have a nice bye. day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Bye.